Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about prefix in Azure Data Factory copy activity. If you are new to our channel, hit subscribe. Azure Data Factory copy activity has both wildcard and prefix feature. Both of the option will shoot for the scenario in case if you are not explicitly specifying the file name in the data factory logic. But there are some minor difference between both wildcard and prefix. Let's see what it is. Let's take one example student data one dot xlsx. If we use wildcard feature in order to pick up this file, we will be specifying as student data star. That's it. Or we have other option by specifying only the format of the file name star followed by the file name. So by this way, we will be specifying in case if you are using wildcard. Whereas for prefix, we need to specify the first half of the file name or the path. That's it. Which means just we need to specify student data. Among wildcard and prefix, prefix option has better performance while comparing with the wildcard. So in case if you are having uh, multiple uh, files in your uh, container and you are going to pick up only specific files, then in that case use for prefix which has better performance than wildcard. We have created this Azure Data Factory from our last video. What we did is we have created a blob link and we have created two data set, one for the input container which is in Excel format and we have specified the input container over here and sheet name as one. Similarly for output, we have created uh, one data set which is of CSV format and we selected the file path as output container. The ARM template of this Azure Data Factory is available in the video description. You can directly make use of it instead of creating from the scratch. You can just make use of the template. In our last few videos, we have covered about file path in the data set, wildcard, as well as list of files. I will be providing the URL of those videos in the video description as well. Let us select prefix and let's navigate to our container. Let me show what are the files we need to pick up uh, in the current scenario. So under our input container, we need to process the last three files. We need to ignore the folder as well as the first file. We need to just process what are the files which is having student data as a prefix. So what we need to do here, we need to specify the prefix file path. Just we need to put it as student data or just student DA. So whatever it is, it will pick up and process. And that's it. We can test it out our scenario. Let's run our Azure Data Factory. Yeah, it is running. Let me refresh. Yeah, it got completed. Now in our output container, those three files are copied now. Now we will see one more scenario. Let me delete this. We need to process the file which is inside this folder. So let's see how we can specify a folder in prefix. Now let us navigate to our data factory. And let me, so here what we need to provide is just provide the folder name, black slash followed by the file name. Or you can just provide the folder name itself. It will pick up what are the items inside the particular folder. Let's run this. Yeah, it got completed. Let's verify in our output container as well. Let's refresh. See what are the item inside the particular folder alone. It got picked up. And that's it on this video. We will see more scenarios in upcoming videos. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video and I request you to subscribe my channel. Your subscription will motivate us to produce more video in better quality.